So let's do a quick update on the story involving Donald Trump's theft of national security documents. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So let's do a quick update on the status of the litigation over the top secret documents, the national security information that Donald Trump stole from the White House and unlawfully concealed at Mar-a-Lago. Because the government, the federal prosecutors, filed another pleading, another legal brief in the case, saying once again to Judge Aileen Cannon, Trump appointed judge, confirmed by Mitch McConnell's Senate after Trump lost the election. The federal prosecutors said again to Judge Cannon, you really need to lift, revoke your stop work order and let us investigate the potential damage Donald Trump has done to our national security. Here's just a little bit of the legal filing that the federal prosecutors just submitted. Quote, the government seeks a stay, a stay is a pause or basically a reversal of Judge Cannon's order to stop investigating the damage Donald Trump did to our national security. Let that sink in. A federal judge told the Department of Justice, stop investigating the damage Donald Trump did to our national security. The government seeks a stay only as to a discrete set of just over 100 records marked as classified. That is, records that were specifically sought by a prior grand jury subpoena whose unauthorized retention by Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago may constitute a crime, 18 United States Code, Section 793, a crime that falls under the Espionage Act. And with markings signifying that their unauthorized disclosure reasonably could be expected to result in damage to the na national security, including exceptionally grave damage. And then on page two, of the prosecution's brief. They go on to talk about this stupid parlor game Donald Trump's lawyers are playing. Did he declassify? Did he not declassify? They take it on directly. Plaintiff Donald Trump does not actually assert, much less provide any evidence that any of the seized records bearing classification markings have been declassified. But they go on to say that more importantly, whether Trump did or did not declassify any documents is ultimately irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? Folks, the search warrant for Mar-a-Lago that was issued by a federal judge after the federal judge found there was probable cause to believe Three crimes were committed, and evidence of those crimes was located at Mar-a-Lago, and he was right about that. The three crimes that served as the basis for the search warrant, none of them required that the documents be classified documents. So this stupid parlor game Donald Trump and his lawyers have been playing, did he or didn't he declassify? is an irrelevant distraction and diversion. And the whole thing should be pretty darn insulting to Judge Cannon. I know it is to me and probably to you too. Oh, and speaking of irrelevance, Judge Cannon is about to find herself irrelevant. Why do I say that? Well, because one week ago, the federal prosecutors filed a legal brief, again, asking Judge Cannon to revoke to reverse her stop work order so, you know, they could protect our national security. And they also said 
the following in the brief they filed one week ago. If the court does not grant a stay, that is, does not reverse its stop work order. If the court does not grant a stay by Thursday, September 15th, the government intends to seek relief from the 11th Circuit. So in other words, Judge Cannon, you either make this right and reverse your stop work order, or we'll ask the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals to do it for you, to reverse your ruling. And frankly, anything at this point that makes Judge Cannon less relevant given her track record in this litigation would be a good thing. Because justice matters. Friends, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.